Hi everybody, my name's Gemma, welcome to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas 2018. Today is Christmas Eve, so I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody out there who watches my channel and everybody who doesn't as well. Um, <laughs> today is going to be um, a video that I planned from the beginning of the series. I did it last year as well, where I showed you some vintage toys. Obviously summer Christmas is all about giving presents, um, especially children and toys and things like that. So last year I did a little video where I showed some of the toys that I got as a child in the 80s, early 90s. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing this year and show you some vintage toys. So they're all going to be little figures and things like that. The first ones I'm going to start with are my favourite, the Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, I'm not going to show you any Cabbage Patch Kids dolls because they're going to come up on a separate video which didn't make it to vlogmas i don't know how i seem to have loads of stuff to do for vlogmas this year anyway i had these little figures which are actually from the 1980s um, i don't know if they actually have a date on them but i think they when i looked them up they were oh hang on 1984 there is a date on the back of him there um, so he's a little boy figure, well I assume he's a little boy, he's dressed in blue and he's got um, a little football there and the number 55 on his top. He is super cute, he's only small, look he's only like the size of the palm of my hand. His legs move and his arms move so he can sit down if you want him to, it's a bit easy to display him when he's sitting down. But um, even though he's pretty old, 1984, um, he's in okay condition. A lot of his paintwork is like chipping off after all these years and unfortunately he has got a few dents inside his head. I don't know if the camera will pick that up but they're just like mainly like scuff marks around here. And he is super cute. I really, really like him. Um, I normally have him out on my display. Never noticed before, but I think his eyes are green. I love green eyed cabbage patches, they're my favourite. Although I love all the cabbage patches, but I do like the ones with green eyes. Maybe it's because my eyes are green. As I said that, my eyes started to hurt, how random. The second little figure I have from the Cabbage Patch Kids is this one. Now I think she must have come hanging on something um, because that is there and cut off, but you could always put um, another tie if you wanted to hang her or attach her to something so this one is a little girl and I'll show you her close up there she is really super cute in this cute little dress sort of like a plaid sort of like um, design going on she's got this lovely curly hair <laughs> and she's a blue eyed cabbage patch kid and she even has a dummy or a pacifier in her mouth there we call them dummies in the UK I don't know why <laughs> Um, and because pacifier makes more sense, doesn't it? Because you're pacifying the baby. We say dummies. Um, it says Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't know if you can tell on the bottom of her dress there. I don't know if you can see that. And this little girl is holding a bottle. So she's actually got a dummy in her mouth and she's holding a bottle. She's got little white shoes and socks. Super cute. A lot of the paintwork is coming off, especially um, at the bottom of her shoes but apart from that she's not too bad she's a little bit grubby on her face but she's very old I don't know if she has a date but it'll be similar 1984 um you won't be able to see it because it's under there and even to my eyes I couldn't see it for ages because it's like worn um so her her legs move but she no they don't her legs do move you can pose her the different ways of her legs so they go in and out um, but you can't lift, she can't sit down and her arms can lift up like that. So she's cute. So that's two Cabbage Patch um, kids that I have um, in these mini figures. I'd love to collect some more of these. I don't know, I've never seen them for sale or anything. Uh, but those, those two, I'm going to have to keep an eye out for some more. The next thing I'm going to show you is my pony. I, I think I showed you one of my ponies from last year. Um, on the old video. If you'd like to check that old video I will put a link out for it. Um, but this is a different pony um, that I found. Um, so this pony is called Starshine and I think she's from 1985 I think when I looked her up. Although it says 83 Hasbro on underneath her 
um, feet there. But there she is. She's a little bit grubby, but not too bad um, and doesn't smell too bad. So this is um, Starshine. She's so lovely. Look at her rainbow hair. A little bit of the end of her tail's a little bit um, frizzy now, but the rest of it's okay. Um, she's a Pegasus pony, so they've got wings, um, but no horn. She's not a unicorn. And just look at her eyes there. I really love these old-fashioned My Little Ponies. I don't, not a fan of um, the modern My Little Ponies and when they changed them and they made them, um, you know, with the skinny bodies and all sorts of different, like, girl girls that were sort of half girl half pony i don't like any of those i like these vintage my little ponies the same my little ponies that i played with when i was a child i just think they are so cute much cuter than the ones that are around nowadays it's a shame they changed them they had to change the, the shape of them but this one is pretty cool i'll just show you her cutie mark the cutie mark is the little i don't know if they still call them cutie marks they used to be called cutie marks and it's glitter and it's a star, a star shine. You see, she is super cute and she was one of my favourite toys along with the Cabbage Patch Kids when I was a little girl and this is something that I would have loved to have received for Christmas along with the Cabbage Patch Kids and probably did. So the next vintage toy I have to show you is a Snugglebum. I don't know if any of you remember Snugglebums. I don't think they were like super, super popular. Um, <laughs> this one's seen better days. So here's my Snugglebum. Um, pretty cute. Um, I'm not even sure what these creatures were supposed to be. Um, I know some of them glowed in the dark. Um, it says 1984 on the bottom of this. <laughs> so this is made in 1984, made in China and you'll just see under there is like this sort of um, grate down here and inside there is where you shake the snuggle bum and it squeaks. I think this is supposed to be them talking. <laughs> That's really cute. They're like chattering away. Chatter, chatter, chatter. <laughs> or laughing maybe they were laughing I don't know but most of the snuggle bums had this mechanism inside um so a lot of them did that but I do remember that I don't I didn't have one myself but they used to be um ones that glowed in the dark or yeah I think they glow in the dark there was a whole family of snuggle bums there's loads of them they're all different colors a bit like ponies if you sort of compare them to the pony they do remind me like they come from the same magical kingdom as ponies they don't but they just remind me of that similar thing so just show you another close-up of the snuggle bum <laughs> and uh seen better days bless her i think she's a girl seen better days and look at that happy face and of course they had hair a bit like a troll but all down their back this hair's a bit matted now this one's got a yellow hair and a pink body and then they had like a little heart there which you can see they're so cute i wanted to put this one inside my like glue it in the dashboard on my car but i don't know <laughs> i don't know whether to do it or not i just found it think it would be funny because it would make that noise as the car moved so the last toy i have to show you which is something i would have received for christmas back in the day and this is by bluebird and this is polly pocket now Polly Pockets have come out again, um, they don't look as good as what they did. I'll just show you inside this one that I had. And it's like uh, Polly's apartment. Um, the front of course, these are not, um, kept these in pretty good condition there. So it's orange Polly Pocket, a square clamshell. On the back it says Bluebird, uh, Bluebird Toys in Swindon, England, and the date is, this was made was 1989, made in China. I'll just show you the back of that, I don't know if the camera will pick up those words. So Polly Pockets had like this um, little clip here, and they would open, um, and you would be able to play with this little set. I used to love taking these with me on holidays, travelling, uh, when we used to travel on holiday and things like that. I thought you could sit in the car with them and play, something that I used to do. This one is so cute, little figures inside. Polly traditionally, before they changed her, was just like a little sort of like peg. She reminds me of a peg, look how small she is. 
um, and she would bend so you could sit her on things. I don't know if you can see. So you could sit her down on things. This Polly is a blonde Polly with a little red dress. So she's super tiny. The other figures that you got in this particular set was a little dog. I don't know if the camera's going to pick these up at all. And they're so tiny that my fingers are getting in the way of them. Um, and a little cat. And these obviously were Polly's personal pets that lived in her apartment with her. And then if I take them out, I have to be careful not to lose these. I think they were super easy to lose. So there's the bottom floor of the apartment. And you can see that it, these little gates here, they open. Um, and this one opens too. So there's two little gates that open. She has a seating area here downstairs and her kitchen there. And then if you hold it that way, the little steps go up into the... Well, I suppose this is like a hallway. There's a telephone. And then she has a bedroom here where she has her own TV and all of her wardrobes. And then up at the top is a bathroom. And there's actually a little bath which you can put Polly in. I'll show you. There's Polly in the bath. <laughs> Having a bath. So you could sort of play. It's very tricky. But you could sit her on her bed there. Watching TV. And you could sort of play about. But it is a bit fiddly. But remember I've got adult hands. So when you were a child... Um, you would be able to play with these a lot easier. So I've just placed Polly. Now inside of these there's little holes where you can stick Polly in. So there's one in the kitchen there so Polly can stay in the kitchen or there's one by the gate and then there's two for the pets as well. So the little dog gets to sit by the stairs and the little cat sits in the outside patio area just like so. So they're really cute. So that's my first Polly Pocket House I have to show you. So that's Polly's apartment. And then the second one I have to show you. But, uh, these were the first Polly Pockets made in 1989. Because that's when Polly Pocket came out. Oh, I hope this isn't broken. Um, that's when Polly Pocket came out. After that, they made them a bit more technical and they made houses and things like that. Now, this is Polly at the ski lodge. Well, I think it's a ski lodge. It's got ice skating. I've always assumed it's a ski lodge. It is a ski lodge because in the background, if you can see, there's Polly's ski lodge hotel. There's a lift where you can take it up and down and that moves. And um, it looks like this is a hairdresser's up here because look, there's a chair. You can sit Polly with one of those things that goes over your head. Um, and then what's that? That's a shop. Look, there's all jewellery, gold jewellery hanging up and things down there. And then um, there's another shop and it's selling the ski coats. And if you can see on the back of the scenery, there's like a ski scene with people skiing. So this is obviously um, Polly's gone to this place. It's not where she lives. She can go here on holiday and shopping, do shopping and skiing. And then down here at the bottom is a little dining area place where they can sit. And then look at them, there's Polly and her friend there. They are in this that goes round. Well, this little tree here, if you move this little tree round, there they go, they're ice skating. Yay! We figured it out. And the ice skating rink is all glittery, so it sparkles and it's super cute. So that was a little tree that I'd forgotten about. Um, I'll show you Polly. Polly is a bit different in this one. She's got ice skates on and a little blue uh, suit. She's again, she's blonde, Polly. And then Polly's friend, which I can't, I don't know her name, um, is the brown haired one with a little purpley outfit on. She's got ice skates on as well because, of course, she's gone ice skating with Polly. I think this little um, set is super cute. I'm going to put Polly in the lift. Ooh. there's Polly in the lift she can go up and down I think you can and then you can sort of sit her set her at different levels there um, it stays at the different levels so she can get out 
I don't think there's anything that controls that lift like the other. No, there isn't. And then what can we do with Polly's friend? Polly's friend. Can you sit them down on the chairs? Sort of. Yeah. Oh, she's fell off. You can... <laughs> like I said, we've all got big hands now. Um, I hope she can sit down there and have something to eat. <laughs> I really like this. This is my favourite one. I think out of the two. Oh, I didn't show the outside of this one. It's a circle poly pocket. I also had a seashell one, but I don't own that one anymore. Um, and I think it was a beach inside it. Um, again, 1989, which is when I bought these. Um, the Polly Pocket. Uh, these are in really good condition, actually. I'm going to keep hold of them forever because <laughs> I think they're in really. They're not scratched or anything like that. I sometimes display them out on my unit because um, I do think they look pretty, like open, just set out. I don't play with them anymore, unfortunately. Um, let me know in the comment section down below which is your favourite thing that I've shown you today out of the Cabbage Patch Kids, the Pony, <laughs> or the Snuggle Bum or the Polly Pockets and please let me know if you're of a similar age group to myself um, which of these toys did you have for Christmas or any time um, when you were a child which were your favourite, which did you remember, just any memories you have of any of these toys I really enjoyed doing this video, I love these vintage toy videos especially around Christmas time, I think it's so nostalgic Thanks so much for supporting my Vlogmas. Um, today is Christmas Eve. It is Vlogmas 23 because I missed, well, I didn't miss a day. This should have gone up yesterday, but my computer's just being a real pain and didn't want to upload the videos. So I had a bit of a disaster and I had night shifts, so I wasn't able to fix it for you guys. So please forgive me on that. I've done my best to try and do a daily upload every day. Thanks so much for your support. Don't forget to comment on this video. I really love interacting with you all. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well because that helps the video be shared out amongst other people. And don't forget to subscribe because by the end of the year I'd love to make it to 800 subscribers. I'm not that far off. But that's my next toll and my, my next target and my next um, milestone is 800 and I'd love to do that by New Year's Eve. Take care and thanks for watching and have a really Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.